Hi guys, welcome back to Robbie D's Kitchen. I'm Robin and today we're going to be making Bohemian style coconut bread. So let's get into the video. an overview of everything you will need for this recipe as always all of the measurements will be down below so check that out first I'm gonna start by sifting my dry ingredients so the flour and sugar I also added some nutmeg in there but that's optional Once your dry ingredients is sifted, you just want to give it a good mix. Now it's time to add the wet ingredients. You first want to start by activating your yeast. So in a separate bowl, I added a half cup of coconut milk, one sachet of yeast, and a little bit of sugar. And mix it and let sit for 5 minutes and it should activate and look something like this. Along with the activated yeast, you want to add your oil, your softened butter, as well as your beaten egg and one egg white then you want to give everything a good mix and then you can add your coconut flakes now it's time to add the rest of the coconut milk i also added some coconut cream just to enhance the coconut flavor and then you want to give that a good mix if you find that your batter is too moist, you do want to add a little bit more flour or if it's too dry, you want to add some more milk. Once your dough starts to clump together, this at this point you do want to start the kneading process. I will be using my stand mixer just to cut out about 10 minutes of kneading because you do want to knead this bread a significant amount because that will help make your bread a lot nicer and softer. So I would say I let it knead in the stand mixer for about 10 minutes and then I hand kneaded it for an additional 10 minutes. Then you just want to form your dough into a ball and again you don't want it to be too wet or too dry. Now I'm just going to oil a, the bottom of a bowl and place my dough in there and then add a little bit more oil on top just so that when it rises, it doesn't stick to the bowl. You do want to rub the oil around the bowl. Now I'm going to cover it and let it rise in a warm place for an hour. Once it's risen, you just want to push it down to deflate it and then back to the kneading. So I would say I kneaded this for maybe an additional 10 minutes again. After that, I got my rolling pin and rolled it out. Just You just want to make a square shape because you're going to be folding it into a log. And then sometimes too, I also pinch the sides down and tuck them underneath. Now you just want to get your loaf pan, grease it, and then put the dough in there to rise for an additional half an hour. Once risen, it should look like this. Now I'm just going to get my egg wash, which is just one whole egg with a little bit of water. And I'm just going to brush that over top. Now it's time to bake the bread. 
So if you find that your bread is browning too quickly, you can just rest a piece of foil over top loosely. That's what I end up doing. When it's done, it will look like this. It's so pretty. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. I really do hope that you guys try this recipe. It is a great one. And don't forget to comment and subscribe and share. And until next time, bye! It's perfect!